Democrats. Under Donald Trump, you criticized the wall more than 50 times. You called it stupid, useless, and a medieval vanity project. Is a border wall stupid? Well, you don't know what you're talking about, Ty. Kamala did answer that question. What? Which part? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that you are following me on all the platforms you see above and the ones below. And clicking this like button right here is how my content can consistently be recommended to you, okay? Also, double check and make sure that you still are subscribed, hitting that thumbs up, hitting that bell button notification right there. That way you can be notified when I post videos. Boom. 30 seconds. I did it in 30 seconds, y'all. Y'all were able to hear me, right? Like, I know the cadence of my speech was fast, but, you know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching episode three of me going into this whole ordeal regarding Kamala Harris, folks. And we have to talk about it. Some of you guys like to pause and some of you guys didn't. But a uh, majority of you are going to be the ones that are going to, uh, I guess, sometimes win and sometimes you lose. You know, you can't win them all, right? What am I talking about? Some of you guys wanted to... Have me go People over this everywhere. whole video uh, like I did. The one you just watched was one I did with Kamala Harris, where you saw me on the screen. I was pausing every now and then. Uh, some of you guys, um, you watched the one that I did before where I would talk in the beginning like I usually do. And then we would have it to where um, after you hear what Kamala Harris had to say, you guys liked it whenever I would just talk after she said something. Some of you guys liked it when I would just talk a little bit, show y'all a clip, then show myself talk, show you a little clip. I don't know. I'm just trying to do what y'all think is best for all of you. Everybody has their own style, their own way of listening, whatever like that. But nevertheless, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to play the clip out and then I'm going to talk about it. OK, so uh, this is Kamala Harris being asked about the wall. And man, boy, does she give a terrific answer. <laughs> yeah, right. Check it out. The partisan approach to this aside, we know what can work. Well, let's talk about this compromise bill you, that you want to pass if you're elected. You said that's going to be a priority. It includes $650 million in funding for the border wall. That's something Republicans wanted. That was part of the compromise. Under Donald Trump, you criticized the wall more than 50 times. You called it stupid, useless, and a medieval vanity project. Is a border wall stupid? Well, let's talk about Donald Trump and that border wall. <laughs> So remember, Donald Trump said Mexico would pay for it. Come on, they didn't. How much of that wall did he build? I think the last number I saw is about 2%. And then when it came for time for him to do a photo op, you know where he did it? In the part of the wall that President Obama built. But you're agreeing so to a on. bill that would earmark $650 million <laughs> to continue building that we, wall. I, I pledge that I am going to bring forward that bipartisan bill to further strengthen and secure our border. Yes, I am. But and I'm going to work across the aisle to pass com a comprehensive bill that deals with a broken immigration system. I think Jackson's question, part of it was to acknowledge that America has always had migration, but there needs to be a legal process for it. People have to earn it. And that's the point that I think is the most important point that can be made, which is we need a president who is grounded in common sense and practical outcomes. Like, let's just fix this thing. Let's just fix it. Why is there any ideological perspective on this? Let's just fix the problem. It, it, to fix the problem, you're, you're doing this compromise bill. It does call for $650 million that was earmarked under Trump to actually still go to build the wall. I am not afraid of good ideas where they occur. You know, so you don't think it's stupid anymore? I think what he did and how he did it did, was, did not make much sense because he actually didn't do much of anything. I just talk, talked about that wall, right? We just talked about it. He didn't actually do much of anything. But you do want to build some wall. I want to strengthen our board. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, intellectuals, slow people, mentally inca incapacitated people, regular brain people. Did you not hear what she just said? 
He made it clear as day, folks. It's a reason she's not answering it because she doesn't plan on doing it. And fix it. And fix it. I mean, <laughs> we have to fix it. We, 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 we fix it. You just fix it. Or are you going to build a wall? I'm going to secure the border. But are you going to build a wall? Border. Wall. I would like to buy them border. I would like to buy them border. And then look what she did. <laughs> Let's talk about Trump. What? What? We're talking about you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about you. How hard can this be? Well, she has to do that, ladies and gentlemen, because again, y'all need to listen to this. If I, and I know y'all heard me say this analogy over and over again, but I need y'all to understand it. If I tell people, open up the floodgates and let the water pour in. And if you were to say to me, do you plan on Shutting the dam down, Ty. We're going to secure the floods. But do you plan on shutting the dam? We're going to fix it. It's not broken. Dish, they'll say we have a broken immigration system. Y'all catching on to this? We know, think about it. In, think about the immigration. Think about the asylum seekers. Think about the illegals flooding in as water. Why would I say I'm going to fix it when I'm the one that did it? Why would I say it's broken when I'm the one, that's bro when I'm the one that broke it? Why would you say build back better, build what back better when I'm the one that broke it? Why would you say I'm going to address it? We're going to look at it. We're really going to do it. Just fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. And I'm glad that she was saying fix it because you guys are the one that broke it. And Trump, he let's talk about this. He asked her, you called it stupid, da, 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 da. She never took accountability for it like I keep telling you. Well, yeah, she could have just said I... I spoke out of term. I, 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 I was speaking ignorantly, didn't know much about it. But once I started working as VP, I got a better understanding. So, yeah, that was kind of immature and premature me speaking out like, oh, no. Oh, no. Let's talk about Trump and this wall. And he didn't even do. We talking about you. This is what I'm telling y'all. She's not going to do anything for you because she's already doing what they want to do to you Americans already as it is. How are you guys not seeing this and understanding this? We don't care. All we know, we just want to try somebody that's black. She's not black. I ain't about to get into all that, folks. Nevertheless, you've seen all the word salad, folks. What more do y'all want? You just got done watching episode three of Kamala Harris's complete disastrous answers to some most basic questions. Well, I'll just tell you what I'm hearing from people who I have been talking to, uh, and that is that... Uh, if her goal was to close the deal, they're not sure she did that. And, you know, some people have asked, is she being held to a different standard? Maybe, but that's maybe the world that she's living in. And on the question of who she is, people are understanding that a little bit more, but what she will do, the question about her legislative priorities, name one, there, there wasn't one. Um, you know, some more of her personality and her sort of character uh, questions about your weaknesses or uh, what, what mistakes uh, did you make? Not necessarily the answers there. And yet, some of you will still say she answered the question. Oh, yeah, she answered. She pretty much said, no, I'm not going to put no, I'm not building a wall. I'm not doing why, why, I'm not doing anything. She's not going to do it, folks. Nothing's going to change at all. Let me know what you guys all think by putting in the comment section after the video. Don't forget to do what y'all see going on in this beautiful cloud right here. It took me a long time to make this, so make sure y'all do that. I'm joking. If you would like to see the next video that I'm going to do in chronological order, that may be a part four, episode four, it's going to be up here. Things that I do as a variety on this channel will be down here. I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.